Alright guys, hello, I'm back. Uh, this episode's probably gonna be a bit shorter uh, than the other ones I've done before. Uh, because of, well, reasons. I'm not feeling so great today, so. Here's hoping. Um, I also turned down the volume of my mic because that seemed to be a bit of an issue in the last couple of videos. So, uh, low game. Trinity, disarray, disaster, trying to do everything that would appease Yuri. Melancholy, infallible. I so wanted to hit Marshmallow. Oh, well, either way. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez, I am so like, ugh. hopeless. <laughs> Suicide. I don't know. Vitality. I don't know what this poem's gonna be about, but it doesn't sound good. Whoa! What the hell is that? I'm gonna hit this because I don't know what it is. Jeez. What the? Look! Ew. Graveyard. Imagination. Marriage, just because I can. Passion. And anger, I guess. Ugh, I don't, I don't know what I did. That was weird. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. La 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 la. Okay. <laughs> Once again, um, there might be two versions of this. Um, if that picture changes, uh, I'll have to censor it out and then I'll just put the uncensored version um, in the description like I did with part four. Um, part four was originally, you know, it's, uh, it's censored, but then there's the link only version um, that's uh, uncensored and it's in the description of the video. Um, it doesn't mean that everyone should should click it though. I mean, I meant what I said when I wrote the disclaimer. It's this is not necessarily a pretty game when it gets to the darker stuff. Anyway, I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Light. What on earth is going on with you? That, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the usual scene. She's headless and she's... Whatever. She's in... She's not even... All I see is a boob. <laughs> uh, hi, Yuri. You're a little messed up, buddy. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. She doesn't have an expression. She's missing, like, everything. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. A little, whatever. Um, oh, there we go. She's, she's there. <laughs> Hi. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga. Is re reading manga at, at a desk. <laughs> Off to a great start already with these words! And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. Ooh la la, what's about to happen? About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think that we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Yeah, sure, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I, already, I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. 
And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. I said that yesterday too, didn't I? Uh, Light, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. You want me to dance around the subject, sugarcoat it? They make me a little too happy! Okay, I don't need to know all that. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Well, of course it is. My name is Light. Uh. Sorry, what am I saying right now? Oh, it's another one of these days, then. I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Dot, dot, dot. I actually thought it was Yuri that was talking to her to begin with, so I was like, didn't she just tell you? Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Dot, dot, dot. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Why is that in black text? It's strange. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Dot dot dot. But... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hehe. <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Dot dot dot. Oh, don't piss her off again, girl. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. I made your eyeballs pop out of your head. I think it's pretty fair that I'm still on trial. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not! Aha. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> nah, not really. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm, not, I'm still not really good yet. Still. That must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. <laughs> this is why I love Yuri. Like, she's just, she's so blunt, but at the same time, like, she says it in the nicest way, the most graceful way possible. Aw, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Light. Oh, okay. Monica smiles sweetly. Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. Really? I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Nah, really. Not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. 
Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Light. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay! She's all kinds of happy. She's like, what? Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? No, you're not. I'm sorry. My heart, it just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my mind... Er, sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> if there's anything that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Nothing. Uh, bleep, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Ooh! Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she, the, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. I had to read that more than once because I wasn't sure if I got the right word. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries, hurries, Yuri hurries <laughs> out of the classroom. I'm a poet and didn't know it. No. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ta -ta -ta. Ten minutes pass. Jeez, let's not be right back. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha uh ha. -huh. What the hell? Ha uh ha. -huh. What is going on? What is that noise? That's what I'm saying, too. I don't even know how to say it right. It's coming from around the corner. Oh, is somebody doing something explicit it sounds like breathing oh so they're like size sort of right no, I don't know K K, -K H H H <laughs> like what a sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth oh okay are they in pain I am not good at vocalizing sounds so I'm just reading it like how do I, how do I say that <laughs> I'm a dunce I reach around the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya! Oh my god! What the heck are you doing to yourself, girl? Yuri, I just. Oh, it's rewinding. I'm back! Sure! That didn't happen at all. Thanks for waiting patiently. I actually didn't wait patiently, I actually went out looking for you and it was a really bad decision. I'm starting to question all of my life decisions at this point. Light, do you like oolong tea? Have we been through this? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But sure, I'll say yes anyway. Uh, yeah, see? Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle for 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. It shouldn't. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Or even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? There's a question mark. Yeah. 
In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Okay. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Light. It's very endearing. Aww. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Light, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh, it's the chocolate thing. Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have to that I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because my uh <laughs> my your posture, right? Nice save. I know I said that the last time too, but still, that's an awesome save. Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! We'll just go with that. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I'll have some chocolate as well. Or, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. I'm pretty sure it won't, because if I remember correctly, like, tea has more of a... It just doesn't go well with sweet things. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Exclamation point. <laughs> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Look at her face! <laughs> She's like... Mm? <laughs> like, she barely even has a mouth. That's so cute! How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Get your mind out of the dang gutter, that's how, dude. Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's even- or it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Da da da. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. <laughs> no need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. She's so pretty! Okay, sorry. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any hard of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already to totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply pats, p p pats, parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Look, it's just sort of like hanging out. It's like, whatever. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... 
Yuri looks at me like she needed to confirm what just happened. <laughs> yeah, it's just a piece of chocolate, guys. Come on. I don't know why this has to get so, like, ooh la la, bomb chicka wow wow over, like, freaking chocolate. Feeding her chocolate. Yay. Hooray. Um, light. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh. The music stopped. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Light. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. and spills everywhere. Light. Oh, jeez. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Light. Oh, we're in the closet and she shut the door because I heard the sound of a door close, I think. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Light? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh, her eyes. It makes me not... It even makes me not want to read. What is going on? I just want to look at you. Okay. Well, you're looking at me. Ah! No! No, 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 no! Ha ha. Ha uh ha? -huh. That's not even ha ha, it's just ha. -ha. Stop. Ha. Uh. Stop. Ha, oh, thank you. Thank you, Monica! You saved the day. Um. It's time to share poems. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Who should I show my poem to first? I always save uh, Yuri for last, so I'll go with Natsuki. Let's hope we don't make her eyeballs pop out of her head, shall we? Dot, dot, dot. If she already looks angry. Yeah, just as I thought. Dot, dot, dot. Like, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Jesus, don't hold back, no. Why are you even in this club, Light? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get involved, get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I really, I just don't, I, I really, ugh, I just really don't feel like talking right now. That's okay, because I'm not talking. Please go away. Alright then. She, like, didn't even give me a poem to read or anything. I really pissed her off, I guess. Like, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Yeah, like Yuri's freaking creepy ass eyes? I think so too. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Wait a second, she's bringing knives to school? And this girl hasn't gotten in trouble? Jeez, if somebody did that in real life, they get freaking suspended, possibly even thrown in jail. Like, that's a big deal. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some sort of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Is this girl like a Yandere or something? My god! I clicked on... To put it lightly... Sorry. I at least... I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Shut up. 
But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like this way to- uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, words! I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright. Okay. Wait. It's missing some vowels. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless. That, I don't think that was, um, capitalized before. Uh, the noise, it won't stop. Yeah. Oh, wait. Violent grating. Uh, don't know exactly what that is because I can't tell. So, or er, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. That wasn't like that before either. Endless poem of meaningless. Like, I think it's a poem. Delete her. Wasn't it load me before? Because I remember I was like, ew, really? But now it says delete her. So it's save me, delete her, and there are letters that are missing. I can't help but think that if you were to put all the letters that are missing, you'd get the, um, you'd get the name of the person that she wants to delete, but that doesn't explain colors. Because I was thinking Yuri. And it doesn't fit Sayori because Sayori has a U in her name. Or does not have a U in her name and there's a U that's missing from... So I'm looking too far into it. Jeez. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Don't do that! I'm just trying to... Uh, um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. I think I'm just gonna save right now. I have a, a bad feeling. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Oh, that reminds me, I never- I didn't actually bring up the, uh, files, so let me do that real quick. Uh... I wanna see if there's anything else- <coughs> excuse me, anything in here! What the heck? There's a new file, it's a text document, and it's just I, 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 it's like all across, like a whole bunch of eyes. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want for you is to hate them. Why is that so hard? I don't know. Don't get mad at me, man. Please. Alright, I think that's it. So we still have happy thoughts and the trace back. And can you hear me? Uh, so that's the newest one, the random I I I. Who should I show my poom poom? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is wrong with me? Poom! Who should I show my poom to next? <laughs> Jesus. Yuri. Uh, sorry, I bumped the table that my uh, microphone is on. So you probably heard like a loud thump noise. Poom. Hi, Yuri. I hope you like my poem. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Of course you have, creepy eyes. Let's see what you have written today. For today. Dot, dot, dot. That face, that face is so adorable. Dot, 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 dot. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Yeah, it's definitely a surprised face. She barely even has a mouth. It's like, mm. She sucked her mouth in. Like, she's, like, it's all gone. It's just nothing but a hole. Just a teeny tiny little hole. Do you like it? Light. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How do you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Gulp. 
It sounded like Goofy from Mickey Mouse. What the hell? Even her hands appear sweaty. Yikes. Uh, her face is all red. That makes me so happy. It's so amazing. I feel... To feel like I'm valued, Light. Everyone's so, like, excited versus the other one. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Light? I'm not being weird, right? No. I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. Well, that's okay. At least it's not, you know, glitchy or whatever. You staring at me with those creepy ass eyes. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now I just want, to, want you to read my poem too. Okay? Wheel. A rotating wheel turning an axle. Grinding bolt head linear gearbox falling sky seven holy stakes a docked ship a portal to another world a thin rope tied to a thick rope a torn harness parabolic gearbox expanding universe time controlled by slipping cogwheels are you a doctor who fan <laughs> existence of god swimming with open water in all directions drowning a prayer written in blood jesus a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes maybe you're a fan of david bowie then i don't know i, I say that because of the song time will crawl that's just random fun fact okay i'm done anyway a thread connecting all living human eyes a kaleidoscope of holy stakes exponential ex I can't read that because I can't tell if those are N's or R's. <laughs> okay. Gearbox. Oh. Yeah, I was right. Exponential because it's, um, they're N's because that's an R. So, okay, yeah. Gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God. <laughs> I don't exist. <laughs> um, a wheel rotating in six dimensions. 40 gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. My god. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. Huh? A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the experience, sorry, exis existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes. Breathing doesn't even sound like a word anymore. Breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Okay, I'm so done with this. Ahaha. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I like to take it out on your pen. On my pen? Ah, <laughs> uh, that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it up. I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it writes. Uh, alright. <laughs> so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. You know who she reminds me of? <laughs> For fear of making myself sound like a complete and total creep, but she kind of reminds me of me when I was in, like, early high school. I was, like, 14, and I was in 8th grade, but that was in the high school at the time before they built this new school that has, like, all the grades up until ninth grade, which then goes to the high school. Either way. So I'm in 8th grade, and I had this huge crush on a senior. And, I mean, obviously, it wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been able to do anything, because, I mean, you know, that's he could got he could have gotten into like a lot of trouble for it but like he had warheads because at the time that was like a huge like i guess warheads are still around now but they were like a huge hit back then and he had a warhead and he gave it to me and i refused to eat it not because it was sour although that's a really value but that's a very real reason as to why i don't eat them but I didn't want to eat it because it came from him. He touched it. It was like he was a celebrity to me. It was so weird. God, everyone's going to think I'm freaking psycho now. I promise I'm not. I'm medicated. 
Haha. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> I'm okay. You need medication, girl. What did I just... Dot, dot, dot. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Yes, please. <laughs> you can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like... I like it when Papa spends time with me. Some of these lines are blurry and I don't know why. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like it when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like it when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like it when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like it when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like it when Papa keeps food in the house. This is dark. Um, I like when Papa uses his inside voice. Uh, I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too f tired. I almost said fired. Tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. That's dark. <laughs> Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We all have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Oh, uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together uh, anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a bit more lively ever since Light joined, and we've started some new club activities. But this isn't the first time, sorry, this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already, ha we already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at this the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Well, Yuri knows that feeling, apparently. And whoever was talking about Papa probably likes the literature club an awful lot, too. I know- I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Light? Ah. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Light to agree with you just because she doesn't know how to say no to anything. Excuse you! Look, Monica. Music stopped. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Light joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Oh. And Light isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're not really the only one who's interested in finding new members. Oh, sorry, but you're... I was going to say, yes, she is. You just said that. Sorry, but you're the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Da da da. Oh, Monica looks so sad. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Light wanted to get more members too. Right? Da da da. Da da da. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. 
If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think every... He, why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? Ah, I kind of feel bad for Monica. But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Blight, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Y you kind of dragged me here, Monica. <laughs> well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Dot dot dot. Now you've done it, Natsuki. Oh, here we go, Yuri. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Don't you have friends at lunch or something? Is there a problem with the club being like that for me? There aren't- there are many places that I can go that are like- wait, what? There aren't- there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. Is she the one that's having daddy problems? I don't mean it the way it came out, but Papa. She's not taking anything away. No, Light. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least... For... Uh, at least for a little bit of time... Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Oh, Natsuki! <laughs> Yuri just said the same thing. Natsuki! Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Dot dot dot. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion? Do you do you have a do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brow? Oh my god, what the hell happened to your face? I mean, like I I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore her, her, yeah, my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. You are awfully close to the camera. Ew! Why? Why? Was that necessary? I hate things having to do with eyes. I mean, it creeps me out. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Light? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. And I think the most important thing for everyone is to get along. And for the club to provide something, something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Oh! Your eye is dripping blood! You might kind of need something for that, I'm just saying. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change, too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk- we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? 
Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. Huh? This is like sad for some reason. Not some reason, but like even the background noise. I'm like, <laughs> and also a wonderful friend, Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go late? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm gonna chat a little bit with Light before we leave to see what she thinks of her time here and all that. Sure, that, I'm sure that's it exactly. It's important to me as president. Dot dot dot. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exit the class exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Like, I just wanted to make sure you, uh, you're enjoying your time here at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. It's getting staticky again behind you, Monica. You might want to pay attention to that. And I really do care about you, you know? Yeah, but your classroom is dissipating. I, I really... <laughs> I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. No one's giving me a hard time, but this room... It's got some problems. Like how mean Natsuki is and everything. She was mean to you, not necessarily- Oh, well, wait, actually, she was mean to me about the poems, never mind. And Yuri being a little bit, you know, I don't know, psycho? Haha. <laughs> sometimes it feels like you and I are the only- ugh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You're not real, you're a cartoon character just like the others. You know what I mean? But it's weird. Because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. You're starting to sound like Yuri. <laughs> there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No? I think that said no. Seva. Let me see what... Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna cut this here. It's a short amount of... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, words! It's shorter than my other ones, but again, I'm not... I'm feeling kind of under the weather, and honestly, I kind of like dragging this out a little bit because it's so much fun to play, and when it's over, I'll be sad. Um, that being said, I think I'm gonna play this more than once um, because I... I know that there are other routes. I mean, obviously, I'm taking the Yuri route very strongly to the point where Natsuki absolutely hates my poems because they sound too much like Yuri's and she feels like I don't have my own style. So next time, I'm going to try to appease... Um, well, first, I'll try to appease Sayori because I want to see if there's a way that you can save her. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, so I'm just I'm gonna try different routes, and I may end up actually um, uploading all of them. I don't mean I don't know who's gonna watch them, but why the hell not? I mean, it doesn't hurt to put them up, I guess. But I'll tell you one thing: editing yesterday's video was a nightmare. <laughs> this I'll, I'll give like the short story. Nobody really likes to hear me yak, you know. But I was editing the video. And um, I decided I was going to do two, two different versions, like I said before, because my kids watch my channel. So I get, you know, like, I get worried about them seeing stuff like this, especially with the big disclaimer that was all over the front. You know, they're younger and I don't want them seeing this kind of stuff. So they have the understanding that things are glitchy and possibly disturbing, but I made sure I blocked out the things that were truly disturbing. Excuse me. When it comes to the glitchy stuff, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's harmless. But the real disturbing stuff, I wanted to block out. I have hiccups, oh jeez. So, I did that, but basically what I did first is I... 
I made the uncensored version. And then I took that video and put it back into the video uh, editor and then censored out the parts that I wanted to censor and then created the uncensored video. Only to find out that the uncensored video um, was delayed. So like when you click on a word, like you would hear the sound. No, you would see, was it? I'm trying to remember. You would hear the sound before you saw the actual part in the video. So like I hit like extreme, you know, that ding sound that it just made. You would have heard that after um, I actually clicked on it, not when I clicked on it. Like that. Oh, this is strange. Whatever. I'll get into that tomorrow, I guess. But anyway, so that was interesting and it was a nightmare. And actually, I'm saying this video and saying, oh, you're going to see the disclaimer and you're this and you're that. But at the time of recording this, <clears throat> my video editor is actually still exporting the censored version, which is the one that everyone is going to see. So it isn't even up on YouTube yet. I'm sitting here talking about it like it is because this is obviously going up uh, most likely tomorrow on the 10th. But that's why there was no video from me yesterday on the 8th because I literally couldn't do it. I tried multiple different ways and I ended up having to edit the video way more than once and I'm like, I am so done with this. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that's enough rambling for me. Um, once again, if you like these videos, please feel free to request um, games for me to play. Um, usually this is just a Patreon thing where people can request games, but you know, for now, I mean, I've only got 219 subscribers, you know, I mean, the, the least I could do is try to play something somebody wants me to play. Just if it's, you know, a paid game, you might have to wait because it might take me a while. Uh, to save up the money for it and stuff. You know, I do have bills to pay and stuff like that. I have adult-like stuff to do. So, yeah, but uh, make sure that you subscribe and, you know, hit the bell, please. Pa be part of the... Hmm. I need to think of a cool name for my notification squad. Lights... I don't know what... Somebody give me an idea down in the comments. Give me an idea of what my, my notification squad should be called. Anyway, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, please do that and share with your friends. Um, you know, I'm not in this for, like, the fame or anything. I just do this because I enjoy it. But, hey, I mean, if people want to help out, that's great. <laughs> so, that being said, um, yeah, I, I think I'm done rambling. So, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I will be back, well, most likely tomorrow with another Doki. Bye!